Here's my temporary mount for my HD20 Optoma DLP 1080p projector and as you can see it is it's up there technically so I wanted to see how it would perform what I was going to get and uh, this is during the day you can see my shadow is uh, quite a bit finer and this projects directly onto it my Fuji Tech, I love it it was a little bit blurrier. I think there was a little bit of color loss from other pixels. It kind of ran across this way and that, and it was less defined. But there are different technologies, different price points. This one's more expensive used than the other one is brand new. I've paid three times for this used Optoma than I got that uh, Fujitech for brand new. And the Fujitech is going to outlive it, probably. We'll see. But I got the metallic static paint with. Uh, what was it? Five to one mix, basically. Flat gray paint mixed in to tone it down because it's uh, really reflective. But, uh, the outside edge is very fine on this one, and they actually have a edge mask that'll bring it in a little bit if you want to, and then it really make a, a very nice line around the outside. But for daytime viewing, you know, it's not perfect as far as brightness goes but it's really not bad I mean I could go brighter brighter is always better until you're just like hey this is too much I don't know how many hours are on the bulb it says 2000 maybe they just put it in I don't know so it could be an old bulb so it's not necessarily words to live by but as you can see daytime viewing it's bright outside I have some of it uh, blocked off with some old coats and have, uh, that blocked off lights are off turn a light on you can still see it I mean it's enough to see so not horrible it's really nice you can tell the sharpness is a little um, a little better and you can still see the pixels on this one it's really the same concept and the pixels they look just a little bit more defined but it could be a settings issue so this is in comparison with the Fujitech 857 LED that uh, I was raving about because it was my first projector and I'm still, I don't want to say anything bad about it because it's really good. But I had to have a DLP and now I have both, which is really the way to go. If you're considering one or the other, I would plan on both. You get a 4K one also. So that's a good TV size for the money. This is a Dominator 2017. I don't know if you're into that. Probably not, but if so, there it is. Anyway, happy projectoring. Hope you find your projector.